What's going on y'all? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training and in this video today I'm going to be talking to you about how to train your focus. Now here's the thing, I think it's crazy that so many people so much put so much time and effort into their physical training, into their body and it makes sense for everyone. If I want to feel good, if I want to look good, I got to work out, I got to do my nutrition, I got to do all my physical training to get that result. But when it comes to feeling good, when it comes to overcoming things like anxiety, depression, stress, no one talks about training. And basically what we do is we say, okay, well, you can see a therapist, you can talk about your feelings, and if that doesn't work, you know, I'm just gonna give you some pills. Well, here at Mental Fitness Training, we think that's some bullshit. We do not uh, just start with, with just saying you should take some pills to feel better. Instead, we start with training your mind to feel better and to actually gain control of the way you feel the way you behave and what you create. And that's really my mission is to raise a collective consciousness by empowering you with the tools to train your mind to be able to do these things. And we're acting upon what uh, my sensei, Sensei Clay, called the inner planet. Because a lot of us, we've got these dirty inner planets, there's just garbage everywhere and there's toxic waste. And well, really that's like a metaphor for having a mind with a bunch of negative thoughts, negative belief, and just not empowering thinking that's making you feel bad. So we gotta clean up the inner planet, and part of the way that we do so is we start to build that mental muscle. We do mental strength training for the mind. And so what we're doing today is we're gonna help you train your focus. And this is something you can actually do in the same way that you're gonna do some bicep curls and get some bicep gains. You can train your mind, you can train your focus, so you feel better. And when you do this, what happens is a life circumstance happens, right? Something happens in your life, you don't like it, usually you react, you feel bad, oh, I feel terrible. Maybe that leads to you taking a behavior that's not empowering your best self. You're not living your best life when you take that action, right? And then you end up creating results that you don't like, and then you feel bad, and you feel guilty, and you're just a terrible cycle. So what I'm gonna be doing is giving you a tool, this mental strength training tool, so when bad things happen, you can sit back as the observer see it happen but not have to fully just give into it and react and just be in the chaos of what's happening and say you can sit back as the observer not necessarily like a monk but just as a chill person who can handle things happening around them without having to own that experience and having to feel bad sound good okay so here's a mental strength training te technique today it's very simple all you and I are gonna do is we're gonna set a timer for five minutes and we are going to follow the cycle of our breath. And now this may seem very fundamental, but if you follow along with me for the next five minutes, you're gonna notice that the way you feel in the beginning and the way you feel at the end is gonna be quite a bit different. And so right now, let's start before we even get started. I want you just to benchmark where you're at right now. So take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Lay your shoulders, drop and relax. Check in with yourself and ask yourself, what's it like to be me right now? And if one was the absolute worst, 10 could be the best you could possibly feel, where are you at right now? I feel like a 10 right now, personally. I'm not here, I'm not showing off. I'm just letting you know, I'm doing what I love. This is my passion, I love teaching this stuff, so I'm feeling good. And I don't always feel good. So that's what this training is about. It's about becoming aware of where you're at right now so you can put these practices that I use in my own life into play so you can feel good consistently. So here it is. Now that we have that awareness, we're gonna follow our breath in a cycle for five minutes, starting now. So go ahead and breathe in deeply through your nose. And I want you to follow that cycle as the breath comes in. I want you to feel it come in through your lungs and then follow that breath back out through your mouth. And I want you to live in this cycle of breath for the next five minutes. And go ahead and close your eyes. Allow your shoulders to drop and relax. Allow your face to soften. Allow your jaw to relax. And I want you just to live with that breath as it comes in through the nose out through the mouth. 
It's like you're riding the wave of the breath and ride it all the way back in through your nose again. Ride that wave out. We're just riding this circular wave in and out. And the key is to continue to do these breaths on your own as I'm talking you through this. And I really want you to focus on just being with that breath. When your mind starts to wander, come back to that breath. And see how slow you can make these breaths. Nice and deep and slow through the nose. Feel your stomach extend as you breathe in deeply. And as you exhale, let that stomach fall. Keep going with me. Breathing in deeply through the nose. Following that breath out through the mouth. Feeling yourself sink deeper and deeper into this relaxed state. Following that breath on your own. You already know the cues. Just follow that breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And if you never do this, it's going to be completely natural for your focus to want to go somewhere outside of your breath, bring it back in, stay in that cycle. Keep going, two minutes more. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. The only thing that exists is this moment right now. Following that breath. You should almost feel your mind start to strain. You should feel a little bit of a strain as you do these breaths and you try to stay focused on that breath. Because if your mind is untrained, it's going to want to go to things outside of that breath. And that's the mental strength training, so stay in that cycle. And this is the most fundamental thing you can do to start your mental strength training routine. So keep it going. We're almost done. Less than a minute left. Following that breath in that cycle. Ride in that wave of the breath. The more focused you can stay on that breath, the more mental strength you're gaining. Keep it going. Great work. Okay, so you can breathe your eyes open. Feeling a little bit better? Actually, let's benchmark you really quick. So close your eyes once more. And go ahead and ask yourself, one to 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best, where are you at right now? And were you able to improve just one point or two points or three points or five points just with five minutes of that mental strength training with that focus on the breath? And yes, this is very similar to, to meditation, right? And what meditation is, the way I look at it is it's a tool for mental fitness training because there's a lot of different things we can do to train our minds. And meditation, mindfulness, they're powerful tools. And so you have a tool now. So whenever you're getting overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, depressed, or you're just thinking, hey, I'm really reactive lately, just schedule five minutes to start your day. Five minutes of mental strength training, getting in that cycle of focusing your breath and being here now in the present moment. So that's it. This is very fundamental, but I hope this video was powerful for you. Hopefully it gave you a glimpse into what's possible through mental strength training. If this video was helpful for you, please like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop comments or questions down below. And if you would like some more in-depth training 
I have eight phases to take you from awareness to oneness in my new app. It's called Be, the mental fitness training app. It's free to get started. So go ahead and check it out. It's linked on the, in the description below. And if you have any questions for me personally, yeah, just drop them below in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm all over the internet. So thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video.